So with geometric sequences, uh, when we're trying to create the general term, again, this is going to be some situation where I've just basically plug in A and R and you're left with T in is equal to something or other with an N in it. Because this is just setting this up in a situation where if somebody wanted to find any term in the sequence, they would. All they would have to do is plug in N and it would give them the answer. So really you're just going to replace A and R and the rest of it stays the same. So, good hint for you, if R is negative, make sure you use brackets. So for instance, 4 times, a different one, if A was equal to 1 and R was equal to negative 2, you would want to do Tn is equal to 1 times bracket negative 2, n minus 1, and put that in brackets as well. That just makes sure that the power is actually applied to that whole number with the negative included. So again, we're basically just replacing A and R. So for the first formula here, Tn is equal to A is 5 times R is 2 to the power of n minus 1. And we're done. That again is just setting us up with a general term that anybody could use if they wanted to find a particular term in the sequence. Here we've got Tn is equal to negative 4 times 3 the power of n minus 1. Um, again, hopefully you guys have watched the video for geometric sequence in other words and you're aware of how to deal with the increasing by and decreasing by. Remember that an increase in percent is going to be 1 plus the percentage over 100. And the decrease, you're going to do that subtraction. You'll do 1 minus whatever the percentage was divided by 100 to get your R values. So be aware of that with the word problems as it often comes up. And this is a situation where you'd want to put the R into brackets. Tn is equal to 3 times bracket negative 2 to the power of n minus 1.